This generation has seen the controversial rise of games as a service, live service games, whatever you want to call them. While there certainly are more than enough single player games out there to satisfy solitary gamers, the big publishers are moving their attention towards multiplayer experiences. Ubisoft are arguably the biggest proponent of this ethos, going as far as declaring that they were done with finite experiences in early 2018 after the success of games like Rainbow Six Siege, even though Assassin's Creed Odyssey very much stuck to the same single player principles as other games in the franchise. With the emphasis on online experiences only growing stronger from the big dogs as the years go by, it's time to look at the best PS4 multiplayer games. Whichever unusual and questionable places the industry goes in the future, here are some suggestions for them to learn from to create games that last the distance. A quick qualifier, we are only including one game per franchise. With that being said, here are our picks for the best multiplayer games on the PlayStation 4, whether that's local multiplayer or online. Number 10, The Forest. Now, what could make your son being kidnapped by a bunch of primal cannibals a bit less depressing? Sharing the experience with three more lonely dads, of course. The forest allows you to team up with your buddies to save your shared son or to just mess around and build a zipline that serves zero purpose. I mean, that's, that's what I do. You can play with randoms, but you really ought to team up with your friends if you can. A trauma is no trauma at all if it isn't shared between friends, which you will find out for yourself when you take a trip down the island's many pitch black cave. One of the most difficult but also rewarding PS4 survival games around, with a sequel of sorts also in the pipeline. Quick tip, use fire and use it well. Number 9, GTA Online. While there are some aspects of GTA Online that really shouldn't be emulated, I mean, I had to take a mortgage out to get a boat in this game, what's that about? It's been a popular mainstay for over five years for a simple reason, it's just damn fun. At this point in time, with the community already well in place for the game, there might be quite the grind ahead for you to compete against others and not get blown up by lasers, but if you just want a game to mess around in with friends, it's probably the perfect pick. There are many things you can get up to in GTA Online, including the inevitable bit of murder. I mean, treat yourself, just a little stab, it's fine, it's just a little stab. However, if you want a far more relaxed time of it in San Andreas, turn on passive mode and take a cruise around, throw some darts, get yourself an awkward lap dance, or embarrass yourself with some tennis as you pass the time until they announce a new top spin game. I mean, seriously, when is that? Hello? When's a new top spin out? It's been ages. Number 8, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite. We're talking specifically about the Battle Royale portion of Epic's monolith here. Though with some patience and friends, you may be able to get a lot out of the kind of convoluted save the world as well. But it's Battle Royale that everyone knows Fortnite for. Thanks to its intricate blend of shooting and building that makes it stand apart from its peers. Whether you're playing solo or with friends, no match in Fortnite is ever the same. The learning curve is fairly steep and the other players are ruthless to beginners, but once it all clicks and you feel somewhat competent at building ramps and then slam dunking on top of someone with a shotgun blast, it's easy to see why so many love it. Here's a quick thing to remember, there will always be someone better than you, a player who has dabs for breakfast and eats walls for dinner. You should accept that now and just let the pain sink in. Just, let, just accept it. Number 7, Overwatch. Not quite at the peak of its powers these days, but it's still a great time. Overwatch is the originator of the hero shooter, which also owes a debt of gratitude to Team Fortress 2. Fundamentally, they're very similar games with teamwork being key, and different members of the team being better suited for certain tasks. However, it's in Overwatch's approach to lore that it shines through with each of its heroes having distinct personalities and backstories. There's a character for everyone, except for Hanzo, who should belong to nobody, you trash can, and with plenty of different ways to play with friends and train, it should be your next weekend consumer. Get it practicing before Overwatch 2 comes out, this time with single player. Ooh. Number 6, Warframe. Who could have predicted that Warframe, a game about being a fashionable robot ninja lad, would last the distance as emphatically as it has to become one of the best PS4 multiplayer games? That's all down to Digital Extremes' perseverance to turn it from a rough diamond into something expansive and wonderful. As a free PS4 game, the grind is kind of real with Warframe and you can gather enough loot to not make you look like a peasant. However, with an open world this pretty and a dedication to the community this stout, it's worth at least checking out if you haven't yet. 
it can be a little bewildering to begin with, so be sure to take things slow and also don't take out another mortgage for microtransactions. I never learn! I never learn, okay? I just never learn! Number 5. Rocket League When Rocket League was released as a free PlayStation Plus game, few could have predicted that the balmy but massively addictive hybrid would still be going strong to this day. A simple twist on football and racing that could have been nothing but a neat distraction for many has turned into an addiction, one of the most popular games not only on Twitch but also in the world. An idea so straightforward that it's a wonder nobody else tried it before Psyonix, Rocket League is an upgrade to the PS3's underrated but understandably undermarketed. I can do this. Supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars, try saying that backwards, that sees you playing as a car and trying to score goals. It's nothing more, nothing less, and it's absolutely wonderful. As with all multiplayer games that have been around for years, expect an upwards climb before you can consider yourself good. How did I say that name right? First try, that was really good. Well done, me. Number four, Titanfall 2. Beloved by those who know, Titanfall 2 released during an awkward window right between Battlefield 1 and whichever Call of Duty was being released that year. We forget, was it the one with Conor McGregor in? I don't know, I don't know mate. While it may not have sold quite as many copies as its quality deserved, Titanfall 2 is still solidly played to this day. Refinements over the first game are a plenty, as well as maintaining an irrefutable pace that makes it so electrifying to play. It's easy to pick up, but difficult to master, and with many different titans to unleash some large scale murder with, you will keep coming back for more. As a bonus, it has one of the best single player campaigns of any FPS, even if it is a little on the short side. Right, Titan 4 3, what are you doing lads? Let's talk, come on. You must have got loads of money from Apex, can you just make Titan 4 3? Please. And number three, Monster Hunter World. Really, Monster Hunter World isn't a million miles away from the earlier games in the series, which never, for one reason or other, truly resonated with Western audiences. Plenty of broken sales records in a dedicated community, and World is perfect evidence they only need to change wheels and not reinvent them to be a success. Loot is the aim of the game with World, so the hunt is on for you and some friends to track down the biggest, baddest beasts and only feel slightly bad over cutting them down at their most majestic. It's a tough game, but certainly the most inviting of any in the Monster Hunter franchise so far. There's also a lot of balmy crossovers with Capcom properties to keep things fresh, as well as some very dapper cats. Mm. Number 2, The Last of Us Remastered. Yep, arguably the greatest single player property in PlayStation history, fight me knack fans, also has multiplayer. And it's pretty damn great, so much so that it's still played by plenty of fans to this day. It might lack the frenetic pace and constant updates of other games on the list, but it's the perfect way to pass the time until The Last of Us 2, apart from playing the first game on Grounded for the nth time, but nobody really wants to suffer like this. Nobody wants to suffer. There are plenty of different modes in The Last of Us' multiplayer, though what's most interesting is its approach to wrapping it all up in a neat narrative. Depending on how well you do, the survivors can either flourish or falter, so there is no pressure on you at all to perform in death matches. Sadly, it doesn't seem like the sequel will be getting multiplayer, but a spin-off or something along those lines seemed likely. And number one, Rainbow Six Siege. A controversial number one, sure, but we have to give Ubisoft credit for getting this game from where it was to where it is now. Rainbow Six Siege is notoriously toxic on PC, but with most of its PS4 player base allergic to microphones, you are going to be just fine. Sure, that doesn't stop team killing in casual still, like it's some kind of dickhead contest. I mean, who kills? Who team kills in casual? Come on, come on. But it's certainly a damn sight better than children screeching at you when you're the last one alive. For the competitive of you watching this, ranked is where the wheat is separate from the chaff, and Siege is at its best. Every action needs to be deliberate and planned out, so it means you really need to squad up with friends if you want to stand a chance and climb up the rankings. No matter what though, there will always be some dingo who uses fuse during a hostage situation. Ah, God bless Siege. And that was our list. Did you agree, disagree? Be sure to let me know down in the comments down below, where the comments always are. I don't know why we have to say down below. And if you would be so kind to throw me a subscribe, that'd be really nice as well. Uh, if this video gets, uh, I don't know, 50 likes, I'll, I don't know, I'll uh, snort an egg or something. Thanks.